Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux of fluxwithit.com and today we're gonna check out the ASM Hydrosynth. The ASM Hydrosynth is an eight voice digital wave morphing synth. Three oscillators, 219 waveforms, custom wave tables with the wave list, wave scan function, ring mod, three noise colors, four custom mutator sections with seven effects each. That's linear FM, wave stack, pulse width modulation, pulse width modulation squeeze, pulse width modulation ASM mode, sync, harmonic sweep, and the oscillators can be stereo panned. It's got two simultaneous filters that can be arranged in parallel or series. Filter one has 11 filter models, including traditional Moog style 12 and 24 dB ladder filters, Q compensated 12 and 24 dB ladder filters, kind of like the uh, Matrix Brute, 18 dB slope, low pass, band pass, and high pass filters based on the Thriller Eurorack filter. MS-20 style high pass and low pass filters, low pass gate filter, and a vowel filter. The oscillators can blend into the filters at varying amounts. Filter two is a SEM style multi-mode filter with morph control, so you can morph between low pass, band pass, and high pass in a nice continuous sweep. And it has dedicated analog style um, 270 degree pots for cutoff and resonance and drive slash morph five six stage delay attack hold decay sustain release envelopes with bpm sync that allows you to bpm sync each stage of those envelopes and you can loop them with a definable number of repeats you also have five lfos with 10 waveforms each plus smoothing on those waveforms and noise delay fade in fade out and phase with multiple trigger modes, a step mode with pattern length as well. That's just the LFOs right there. 
you get a 32 point mod matrix with 28 sources and 188 destinations eight macros with a scribble strip on it so that you know what each macro is doing and each macro can have eight destinations plus it has a dedicated button on there so that you can map that button to take you to any value quickly it's got 24 polyphonic pressure aftertouch pads with multiple musical layouts dedicated uh, to scale and key configurations it's got an arp with ratchet and chance cv and gate interface with two modulation inputs pitch gate mod one mod two and clock outputs usb midi din uh in out and through sustain pedal input expression pedal input stereo output it's even got a recessed area in here for your cables so you can butt this thing right up against your modular and not have cables sticking out anywhere uh, it's got dedicated module select buttons reminiscent of the ensonic synths of the past to give you immediate access to every access every uh, area of the synth without menu diving the LED screen here also doubles as an O scope so check this out It also comes with a VST editor librarian for Mac and Windows. It's got a home button so that you can easily get back to the home page no matter where you're at in the synth. And it has a random function, a dedicated random function, so that you can randomize any function inside of, inside of here, whether it be your modulations or maybe you want to modulate, uh, randomize a oscillator shape, or if you want to randomize the entire patch. You also have a pre-effects and post-effects section, which each gives you eight different effects each. Chorus, flanger, rotary, phaser, lo-fi, tremolo, EQ, and a side-chainable compressor. In between there, you have the delay, dedicated delay, dedicated reverb. Delay section gives you five different delay types, and the reverb section gives you four different reverb algorithms. Here I want to show you just a little bit about the arpeggiator in the synth. What's really cool about the arpeggiator is you have dedicated controls for it over here in this section, and there's ratcheting and chance on this. Now, on the desktop model, you don't have the dedicated controls for the ratcheting and chance, but it's very easy to get to. All you need to do is press Shift, Edit, and here we are. We see our... All of our arpeggiator controls are over here in this screen, and you press down once, and here we are. We have our phrase, ratchet, chance. We also can uh, do our tap trigger and our clock lock. So let's take a quick listen to how this arpeggiator works. Let's go ahead and turn that on, and we'll, we'll play a drum beat to go with it. up the ratchet and the chance. So a beautiful function about this synthesizer is that you have these pads that are polyphonic pressure uh, pads that can be used kind of like how an Ableton push or a launch pad would be used in that you can have them work as a chromatic scale, you can have them work as a fretboard, you can have them work as an octave rows, lots of different configurations and you can set your scales You've got chromatic, major, major pentonic, minor pentonic, blues, bebop, whole tone, diminished whole tone, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, minor, Locrian, 
harmonic minor, melodic minor. So this allows us to play things directly from the module without even needing a MIDI keyboard. Okay, so one of the wonderful things about this synth is that it is, in fact, built around the idea of polyphonic aftertouch. So there's a lot of expressivity in this module. Now, you can do that with either the built-in 24 polyphonic aftertouch sensitive pads here, or you can do it with a affordable MIDI controller like something, uh, like say the Micro Freak that I have over here. And you'll notice, You get that nice expressive change. An easy way to see what you have modulating in your polyphonic aftertouch, well, I'll show you this real quick. You can hear me kind of going between each note there. If we go into the mod matrix, you'll notice that the mod matrix tells us exactly what everything is mapped to, and you have instant control over everything as well. So on my sources 11 and 12 here, I have polyphonic aftertouch going to oscillator one, wave scan, 37 is the depth. Polyphonic aftertouch is also going to the amp, level 54. So let's take a listen to how that affects the sound when I change these depths. So it's a very expressive way to get changes out of your synthesizer. Obviously this synthesizer is so deep that I can't fit it all into one video, so I'll be doing multiple videos where I showcase this thing in a variety of different scenarios. I'm going to dive into the different sections of the synthesizer, and I'll try to just uh, show you as many use cases as possible for it. If you like what you see, please leave a like and a comment below, subscribe, and uh, peace.